The economic jump ball, McCain vows to get tough on corporate greed, while Senator Obama pounds McCain for saying the fundamentals of the economy are strong. But which candidate do you trust to turn the economy around? Back on Race for the White House, I'm David Gregory in San Francisco tonight. The back and forth on the economy has been pretty tough all day long between these two candidates. The Obama campaign released an ad slamming Senator McCain on the issue using his words from just yesterday. Listen. Our economy, I think, still... The fundamentals are, of our economy are strong. Senator McCain hit back this morning on the Today Show trying to clarify his words. Well, it's obviously true that the workers of America are the fundamentals of our economy and our strength and our future. And I believe in the American worker and someone who disagrees with that is fine. We are in crisis. We all know that. But at a rally today, Obama came back yet again trying to drive home the idea that McCain is out of touch with voters when it comes to the economy. He tried to explain himself again this morning by saying that what he meant to say was that the American workers are strong. But we know that Senator McCain meant what he said the first time because he has said it over and over again throughout this campaign, no fewer than 16 times. Despite all of the back and forth on the campaign trail, the central question remains unanswered. Who has the better plan to fix the economy, the Democrats or the Republicans? Joining us now for a face-off for Obama supporter and Florida Congressman Robert Wexler. He joins us from Washington. And McCain supporter and Virginia Congressman Eric Cantor. He joins us from Capitol Hill. Welcome to both of you. All right, each of you get a chance to make the case. Congressman Wexler, I will start with you. Why does Senator Obama got the better plan for the way forward on the economy? Uh, because Senator Obama will invest in the American people. We've lost over 600,000 jobs in the last nine months. We need to invest in jobs here at home, building roads, building bridges, mass transit systems, laying broadband. We also need to develop our alternative energy sources. Tonight, we need to pass an energy bill, which is what Senator Obama wants us to do, which will open up domestic supplies of oil and natural gas, but also begin preparing us as a nation for the 21st century, the green economy. We need to invest $150 billion to create that green economy, jobs here at home. But most importantly, let middle-income people share in the tax breaks that have largely gone only to the wealthiest among us, and that will begin to allow the middle class to afford the energy costs that are skyrocketing, maybe better afford health care costs that are also skyrocketing, but give them a chance to catch up. That's the biggest difference between the right. Democrats and Obama and McCain and the Republicans. We are going to really focus on the needs of the middle class. Okay, Congressman Cantor, make the case for John McCain. Uh, David, you know, it's very obvious who has, um, I think, the, the right vision going forward, and that's John McCain. Take a look at what Barack Obama has been saying. Yesterday, there was a, an evaporation of $750 billion in market cap uh, in the stock exchanges after the 500-point drop. But yet, Barack Obama is talking about taxing capital formation. He wants to increase capital gains taxes. He wants to increase dividend rates. He wants to increase income taxes. And all those things that Robert listed about what we need to be investing in, that comes on the backs of the taxpayers. So let's remember this. We want to be a place where we can grow jobs. Uh, and John McCain has a plan uh, to grow jobs through green creation of green jobs, through, through absol absolutely addressing the energy question once and for all. Robert mentions the fact that we have an energy bill on the floor in the House today. You're right. It's an energy bill, but it produces no energy. You know, the Democrats have been in charge now almost two years. Barack Obama says he's for drilling, says he's for everything we can do to produce more American 
American energy production. You take a look at the bill that's on the floor, it will get us nowhere. That's why we are proposing um, a comprehensive counter to that so we can get All right. some relief to the American people, get some relief, some real relief to the middle class. Congressman Cantor, here's the reality of John McCain's position. He supports the federal bailout up till now of the Bush administration of Fannie and Freddie supports what's been done for uh, uh, Bear Stearns and of course no federal funds up till now have been offered for uh, any of the the bloodbath that we've seen over the last uh, couple of days um, and he, he so he's supported the bailouts he is also on record in the past of saying that he's not a big fan of regulation so what makes him different in approach than President Bush. Listen, John McCain has a proven track record, has demonstrated an understanding that we need to fix some serious things that have gone wrong in Washington. Back in 2002, John McCain made a speech about corporate governance, spelled out the dangers that were lurking out there and the fact that we needed some more transparency and some more action on the part um, of, of the agencies here in Washington. In 05, John McCain was a sponsor of a bill to overhaul and reform the government-sponsored entities of Freddie and Fannie. You know, this this is a track record. John McCain has seen the problems. He has spoken out on the problems for years. Barack Obama has made one speech in 2007 and now claims to be um, uh, such a reformer. It's just not the case. You've got to All do right. more than just speak. We have You have to put these words into action. There's Co been no action on the part of Barack Obama as far as what we need to do. Congressman Wexler, go ahead. Yeah, let, let's get this straight about the, the tax proposals. If you make $250,000 or less, you will benefit from Barack Obama's policies. John McCain's policies will benefit the wealthiest among us. That is just With not respect, true. Eric, that give me a chance. True, With respect to deregulation and privatization, what Senator McCain has proposed, say for Social Security, which is so important in my state of Florida, is to essentially invest Social Security in the same stock market that tanked on Monday 500 points. That's not reform, that's irresponsible. Senator Obama, on the other, on the other hand, has said, if you're a retiree and you make $50,000 or less, you will be entirely exempt from federal income tax. That's what we're talking about, honing in on the need of middle-income people, retirees on modest incomes, and let for once the, the economy trickle up. And the point of your question, David, was exactly right. John McCain has the same exact economic policy that George Bush has promoted for the last eight years, and now it has come home to roost in unemployment rates that exceed 6%. Historic deficits, our fiscal policy is in shambles, and today we've got an energy proposal to begin providing a domestic source of oil and natural okay. gas beyond what we've ever done, but and all the Republicans say is no, no, no. Here's where we are in terms of voter attitudes about these two candidates on the, the issue. The new Gallup poll shows that McCain is actually gaining ground with voters on the economy. 48% of voters say that Obama would better handle the economy. 45% say that about McCain, while Obama has a slightly, this is a huge drop from August when he had a 16-point advantage over John McCain. To both of you, first to Congressman Wexler, there is a connection problem, is there not? If your party has the advantage, Obama's not breaking through. Well, I think you're going to see those numbers probably dramatically shift in the next few days. But it's not a question of polls. It's a question of what will McCain and Obama do for the American people? Okay. What will they do for the family making okay. 50000 or 70000 I'm going to give, give David, Congressman Cantor the last word. Take about 20 seconds. David, the bottom line is people understand that John, John McCain knows the best stimulus, the best thing we can do for the middle class in this country is to grow jobs. We want to be a place where there is investment, we can attract capital. It is not now the time to go and start taxing American people. Robert talks about only the middle class. You know what? Barack Obama has voted for a tax hike on those making $42,000 a year. Whenever anyone says we're only going to tax the wealthy, never believe it because Washington never keeps to that. We Now is not the time for us to raise All taxes. Right. We're, the, the, the debate continues. Passion on both sides. Congressman, thank you very thank you. much.